Hello and welcome to Mr Morton Science Videos. I'm Mr Morton and today we're looking at AQA A-Level uh, Chemistry past Paper Questions. As always, the paper we're looking at is linked in the description below, so if you want to have a go yourselves, just click on the link. This is AQA Chemistry, Chem 1 Foundation Chemistry from June 2014, and we're looking at question 6. This question is mostly about amount of substance, and there's lots of calculations in this question. Okay, calcium phosphate reacts with aqueous nitric acid to produce phosphoric acid and calcium nitrate as shown in the equation. A 7.26 gram sample of calcium phosphate reacted completely when added to an excess of aqueous nitric acid to form 38 cm cubed of solution. And what you need to do is calculate the concentration in moles per litre of the phosphoric acid, which is one of the products in this solution and then to make sure you give your answer to three significant figures. Okay so we have got 7.26 grams of our calcium phosphate. First we need to work out how many moles that is. So we do moles equals mass over molar mass which gives us 7.26 over, and then we need to work this out, and uh, we've got three calciums, so that's 40.1 times three, plus one phosphorus, 31, plus, sorry, two phosphorus, so 31 times two, plus eight oxygen, so 16 times eight. We add all that up, we're going to get 7.26 divided by 310.3, which will give us an answer of approximately 0.0234 moles. That's the number of moles of calcium phosphate, not the number of moles of phosphoric acid. So what we need to do, if we look back to our equation, we've got no numbers here and we've got a 2 here. So to work out the number of moles of acid, we need to times that number by 2. 0.0234 times 2 equals 0.0468 moles. Okay. Then the last part of the question is to work out what the concentration is. So we use concentration equals moles divided by volume. And if, you cannot, if you can't remember the equation in the uh, exam, just remember to use the units. Mole dm minus 3 literally means moles divided by litres. So moles divided by volume. For this, we've got 0.0468, and we're going to divide that by our volume in litres. Now, to get from centimetres cubed into litres, we divide by 1,000. So, 38 over 1,000 equals 0.038. So, our answer here is 0.0468 divided by 0.038, and that's going to give us an answer of... 1.2315, which we need to round to three significant figures. So our answer is 1.23, because that one rounds down. That's our answer. Mol dm minus 3. Don't forget the units. Okay, question 6a, part 2. Calculate the percentage atom economy for the formation of calcium nitrate in the reaction. Give your answer to one decimal place. So percentage atom economy is the mass of your desired product divided by the total mass of all your reactants. Okay, we've worked that out. We've got three calciums, so that's three times forty point one plus. 2 nitrogens, 14 times 2, 
plus 6 oxygen, 16 times 6, all divided by the answer to that part. And 6 hydrogens, so 6 times 1, plus another 4 oxygen, 16 times 4, and a phosphorus, 31. Okay, and that give you 244.1 divided by 345.1, which is 0 0.7073. You need to get percentage, you times that by 100, and we want it to one decimal place. So that 3 isn't going to round up, we're going to end up with 70.7%. Okay, that's quite a high atom economy. Okay, 6b. Write an equation to show the reaction between calcium hydroxide and phosphoric acid to produce calcium phosphate and water. Calcium phosphate was the reactant we started off with in 6A, so we already know the formula for that. And calcium hydroxide is the one that you're going to have to work out. Calcium forms 2 plus ions, and OH ions are 1 minus, so calcium hydroxide will be CaOH2. CA, open bracket, OH, close brackets, 2, plus phosphoric acid, which was also given in the question, H3PO4, goes to make calcium phosphate, which we know in the question, CA3, open bracket, PO4, close brackets, 2, and water plus H2O. This is quite a complicated um, equation to balance. Every calcium here is going on to make a calcium over here, and every phosphate over here is going on to make a phosphate over here. So the first one I'm going to balance is my calcium. I've got three calciums here, so I'm going to try by putting a three in front of here. So then I've got three calcium hydroxides. If I also look at the calcium phosphate, I've got two phosphate ions here, so I'm going to make sure I've got two phosphate ions in the reactants by putting a two here. Now can I balance that? Three calciums going over here. We've got the OH is going to the water. The two phosphate ions are going here, and then the hydrogen is also going to the water. So we need to work out how many waters we're going to end up with. We've got three times two, so that's six oxygen on this side, so we need 6 oxygen on this side, so we're going to put a 6 in front of our water. How many hydrogens have we got on this side? We've got 3 times 2, we've got 6 hydrogen, plus in the phosphoric acid we've got 2 times 3, so we've got another 6 hydrogen here. So we should have 12 on both sides, on the products we've got 6 times 2, 12, so that's balanced. Okay, last calculation in the question, 6C. Calcium dihydrogen phosphate can be represented by the formula Ca, open brackets, H2PO4, close brackets, X, where X is an unknown number. A 9.76 sample of, sorry, a 9.76 gram sample of calcium dihydrogen phosphate contains 0.17 grams of hydrogen, 2.59 grams of phosphorus, and 5.33 grams of oxygen. Now, the way to work this one out is to first work out the empirical formula. So we've got CA, open bracket, H2PO4X. We need to work out the mass of all the different uh, elements in the, in the compound first. So we've got 9.76 grams total, 0.17 grams hydrogen, 2.59 grams phosphorus, 5.33 grams oxygen, and that's using all these three elements here. So whatever's left over in this 9.76 grams must be calcium. So if we add all that up together, we're going to get a total of 8.09 grams. And then we take that away from the 9.76 to work out... Our mass of calcium. 
Uh, mass of calcium then is going to be 1.67 grams. Now, the way I work this out was that I know that we've got 1.67 of calcium for every 8.09 of the phosphate, the hydrogen phosphate. So I then divide those by the molecular masses, so 1.67 divided by 40.1 for calcium. And I worked out that when you have the two hydrogens plus the phosphorus plus the four oxygens, you're going to get a molecular mass or ionic mass in this case of 97. So I divided the 8.09 by 97 as well. And this gave me 0.0416 for the calcium and 0.083 for the hydrogen phosphate ions. Now, you can almost see with the naked eye, but you can use the calculator to work out this is a ratio of 1 to 2. So we've worked out now that x equals 2. And just to make sure that we get every mark in the question, it says show the uh, calculate the empirical formula. So if that x equals 2, to calculate the empirical formula, it's going to be CA, and then everything in here times, everything in the brackets times 2, so it'd be H4, P2, O8. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this is going to help you with your chemistry revision. We've only got one more question left to do on the paper, so I'm going to do question 7 in the next video. If you have any questions, add them to the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you.